Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm pretty sure that some of you would instantly recognize this uh, little box here. This is the exact same uh, compact virtualized NAS server I built uh, around March uh, 2021. Uh, and if, in case if you haven't uh, seen the, that video, you should definitely check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link in the in the description. Uh, so yeah, you should definitely check it out. Uh, really cool video. Uh, and I'll also li like to thank everyone who's actually uh, been following the videos and uh, uh, been giving their feedback or comments or they're sharing their own experiences with this uh, very uh, box. Uh, and now this video is actually uh, to upgrade uh, some of the cooling uh, on this box. Now, as I'm sure you uh you know be aware that this is being quite a compact box with uh eight 3.5 inch drives and you know it's a, such a small title package uh, that it obviously would dissipate a lot of heat and it does actually get quite hot uh so it's no surprise that uh you know the standard cooling options that it actually comes with might not be sufficient to cool down uh cool it down to i you know the ideal running temperatures now uh when I built that video, it was, it was actually sort of, uh, we were going into the Australian winter, uh, March, April 2021, so I've actually had a good run with it uh, during the winter periods, but now that we actually find ourselves in the uh, uh, the Australian summer, which, uh, you know, it's uh, we're already in the Australian summer, I've actually noticed that the temperatures, especially on the hard drives, has actually gone, they've gone up quite a fair bit, even though, uh, as I'm sure you'd recall, they, they the case actually does come with three fans so you got two fans 220 mil fans on the side and there's another one at the back right here but uh, because the rpm on these fans these are actually just your standard uh, you know 1200 to, uh, to around 2000 rpm fans uh, it mm, probably not sufficient uh, to run uh, to mean cool down you know, drives that are running 24 7 so what i thought i'd do is upgrade these uh replace these two fans right here because obviously they're literally adjacent to the drives and in the best position to cool down the drives uh i decided to get uh some high rpm fans uh so to that end enter these puppies right here so i actually bought a couple of these fans two of these fans from ebay uh now fortunately these were the only ones that i could actually find in australia uh because everything else had actually uh, everyone else had gone run out of stock and i definitely didn't want to wait for something to actually come up uh, come in all the way from china uh now on the website itself uh, on, on on in the e on ebay uh the the rpm was actually listed as uh, around 7,500, uh, which I mean, you know, the the eBay sellers they all always exaggerate about their product. So uh, I was pretty sure that it'll be more around the 5,000 uh, RPM mark. Uh, and uh, the best thing about these fans, as you can see, you know, 12 volts, 5 amperes, and the, the and the best thing was that I actually didn't have to do any soldering or any changes to the wiring. It came with a four pin fan, like a four pin uh, connector. Uh, and so ideally they should just be able to go straight in uh, but as I'm sure you know uh, you can already guess that the, the profile they're actually a lot they're slightly actually a lot almost twice the size of a normal 120 mil fan and if we were to compare that uh, I'll just get a another 120 mil uh normal 120 till, uh, 20 mil fan and as you can see it's almost double the size of a 120 mil fan uh so obviously when they first showed up i was a bit concerned that they probably won't fit because you know being such a compact such a small case but uh funny enough they actually did fit uh so now obviously i'm sure you'd be asking the question as to why they're sitting outside and not in the case and I'll actually, uh, the reason for that is that these things are beyond noisy or extremely noisy. 
and they are so loud that you can actually hear when I initially plugged them in uh, I could actually hear just the, just one from one end of the house to the other end and I'll actually do a practical demonstration for you guys uh, but obviously please be warned that it will be loud as hell so let me just open the case up and I'll plug it into one of the standard uh, uh, you know three pin ports even though it's four pin but it does actually uh, you can actually connect it to a three pin uh, connector uh, on, on on the power board so just uh, let, give me a sec and I'll do that okay guys so here we are I've plugged the one of these heavy-duty fans into the the fan connector on the hard drive cage and as I said, even though it's a three pin connector, you can still plug a uh, four pin fan into it. Uh, another thing which uh, people who actually saw the last video would have noticed is that I've also upgraded the, the CPU fan again, uh, because I actually noticed that CPU temperatures were actually going up a bit as well. And I was lucky enough to fit a slightly larger fan. That's, a, that's also a 120 mil fan. Uh, did find one, uh, uh, you know which Bailey did fit uh, along with all the other uh, super compact stuff that's in there so uh, and that fans also RGB even though you know that wasn't one of the requirements but it still is uh, so it makes the case a bit uh, colorful now what I'm gonna do now obviously is turn the machine on and uh, just a little warning before I do that as I said this thing is beyond noisy so you probably want to uh, decrease the volume uh, a bit uh, because once I turn this on and once this thing spins up to its full speed uh, it's gonna sound like hell so here we go And there we go. That's a practical demonstration for you guys. And mind you, that's just one fan. So now, uh, the question is, what's the solution? And obviously, I didn't just give up because I mean, obviously, this is some real. This is a really nice piece of kit, and and I'd actually spent a fair bit of money on buying two of these. Uh, so I was actually looking for a solution, and which came in the shape of this little thing here and as you can see that this is a your typical fan case fan speed controller uh, which I found on Amazon and what it does is simply obviously you know it's pretty straightforward you just plug your fans into these connectors right here and then you can control the speed of every each individual fan but you, 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 I've noticed that it's actually got more than four, so obviously I think it probably controls them in pairs or something. But I've actually only got two of these to control, so there, yeah, that's that's pretty sufficient. And the other good thing is that if you look at the back of the case, uh, even and this is not small form factor. This is like you know your normal or form factor uh, bracket, and there is a free bracket because I've got my my. Uh, uh, RAID control card, RAID controller uh, plugged into one of the, the the spots, one of the brackets. So this one's free. So this maybe will go straight into that, and I think it also look pretty cool. So I'm gonna pause it here, pause it here again, and I'll come back once the fans have been installed and this thing's gone in, and then we'll do a test run. So uh, I'll be back with shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we are once again. The the fans have been installed. The control uh, fan control brackets been put in as well, and so and everything else has been put back in as well. So I'll just give you a quick sort of walkabout of what's been done. So here we go. Now the more powerful heavy duty fans have been put in. So there you go. And if we look at the back, we've got our shiny new 
fan control panel uh, bit and put in and I'll also show you what sort of things look on the inside uh, so even though I barely managed to <laughs> fit everything in but eventually I was able to do it uh, now you might have noticed this little uh, Molex Tusada uh, adapter that's because obviously the, the fan control, uh, we, I, we had to sacrifice one of the SATA power adapters because one of the, uh, it requires a SATA power to uh, to run. So we had to sacrifice that, but, so that's why I've had to put in an adapter for the actual uh, hard drive cage. Uh, but all in all, uh, as you can see, everything's back in, uh, looks good. So now obviously, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the power in and we'll turn it on. So here we go. So here we go. Oh, looks like the power button's not doesn't turn on. So, there it is. And, looks like at the moment the fans are turned off so they connected to this fuss this first connector right here so I'm gonna as you can hear them even though it's still loud but obviously it's a lot more tolerable than it was before so now if I I can control the speed obviously so here we go that's much more tolerable as, as you can hear and see and obviously you know depending on the weather you can just come back here and increase or decrease the speed but obviously the hard drives are gonna run a lot cooler and which means that they're gonna last a lot longer. So that's the whole idea. And there we go. And I'm actually quite quite pleased with the result here. So, and now it's actually at full tilt at the moment. It's, it's on full and that's the amount of noise that it's generating. So obviously if it's, let's say that if it's sitting in a in, in my office in my home office and you know which is all the way at the back of the house I mean even if it's running at, at these sort of speeds uh, I reckon that's tolerable but I don't think it probably these that much so just put it down a bit and I reckon that's probably the sweet spot right there so there you go guys that actually concludes this video and I hope you liked it and uh, uh, if you've got any comments or any suggestions or any constructive feedback or uh, you know any other uh, thoughts please do share them uh, in the comment section and now I'm actually working on something really really cool at the moment so the next video is going to be super super awesome and it'll be the best video and I guarantee you that it's actually one of the most interesting and the best videos that uh, you probably would see on this channel and uh, so I do recommend it's a secret I'm actually not gonna re reveal what it is uh, but you uh, one thing I can guarantee is it is super super cool uh, so please do please do stay tuned for that and please do like uh, the video if you like the content uh, like subscribe share and uh, I'll see you on the next one so thank you so much